Morning. This is Arnie Waters here at Waters Capital in Boston, Massachusetts. Uh, gold trading about 1688. Uh, we think gold is going to be staying in a plus 1640 range for the next few days. I hate to say this, but you know, uh, world markets being held hostage by Slovak Slovakia. Let's get back to basic things about important economies. Um, the outlook for the survival of the euro is quite dim, uh, as we're seeing with the difficulties and the dithering in conjunction with the Greek bailout package. Um, there's very little cooperation and there's a total unwillingness to apply pressure to economies that are essentially debtor nations. And so that means that the, the pressure on the euro is going to continue to grow. We expect the euro to be trading by the end of this year, 129, 129.5. By um, <clears throat> next spring, we expect it to be down to 110, if it exists at all. There's very unlikely to be any quantitative easing three in the United States uh, due to the factors that we're well aware of. Um, but what that means is that you know, we're going to see a tremendous outlook for assets that might go up in value. So aside from gold, we've got some specific investment ideas like frontier rare earths trading below a dollar that we think have a tremendous upside potential. And uh, if you'd like to know about specific ideas of what our stock selections are in through here, please give me or Albert Vickery a call on 781-380-8888. Um, and of course, the, the euro difficulties are all very good for the dollar. Uh, safe haven demand, we expect gold to be providing that, as well as we expect some physical demand to increase due to the uh, Indian East Indian uh, wedding season and festival of the lights. Um, as indicated, we expect the euro to continue to trade down off of here. Now, we need to talk about core inflation. Core inflation, of course, is in some ways a ridiculous number because it excludes food and energy. But what's important about core inflation is it can show you the trend. So while headline inflation is trading around 4.2, 4.3, in 2010, in the first quarter of 2010, core inflation, that is excluding food and energy but seasonally adjusted, was zero or below zero core inflation in August was 3%. So that tells you about a tremendous, that's a tremendous move in inflation. And so what we're pointing out to you is that overall, our situation for gold and for certain physical commodities is very, very solid. And so we're encouraging you to be holding gold. And if you want some trading strategies to protect your gold profits, please give me a call. But don't fight the tape. Uh, don't try to fight the trend. You know, the trend from a demand and economic perspective is very much in the favor of gold. Lately, we've been spending a lot of time talking about economics because it's important for us to realize that gold is a rational, a rational investment. And as long as it remains rational, we're going to be encourage, encouraging people to take a sharp look at it. This is Arnie Waters. Aim for the ice flows, not the open water. Have a great day. Keep swinging.